Good evening, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KDB Command 66 Day Challenge 3.0. Today is day 53. So we are continuing our series on referrals. And today we're actually going to look at the map and the functions of the referral map. So referrals is the fifth submenu down, kind of looks like the map icon with the person inside of it. We're going to click on that. And then you'll see four tabs along the top. We're actually going to dive into the map tab. We looked at the other three tabs in our previous video. So today we're going to look at the map. And you can see when we first dive in, it's based upon G, uh, kind of where we are right now. So it's checking the GPS location of your computer and should zoom you in pretty close to where you are currently located. You'll see a large message there that says to zoom in, uh, either scroll or use your plus minus buttons down here at the bottom left. If you know the location of your referral, then you can actually start searching the map right here. Okay, so I'm gonna start zooming in to show you some of the functions that are available within this referral map. So right now, nothing's showing up. Don't worry, you're gonna to have to zoom in a little bit closer for uh, results to start to happen. And you can see when you start getting that spinning wheel, things start to happen. So each one of these little map icons with numbers in them represent closed transactions within that kind of map quadrant, if you will. So you can see just looking at this broad map view, that's a whole lot of closings for most likely a whole lot of agents. And so on the right hand side, it's even going to say, well, we found too many agents to display. Please zoom in. So I'm going to continue to zoom in. And as we get further in, you can see even that the numbers continue to climb, right? Because that's more transactions that they're actually have closed. So now as I zoom in a little bit further, this is actually kind of the area I live in, you're going to start to see agents show up on the right hand side. You'll see some green dots and then you'll actually see map icons with numbers in them as well. And if I zoom in even further, we're going to get real granular here. You'll get to the point where your map is just all green dots. Okay, so each one of these green dots represents a closing within that area. I'm just going to try and pull up the area. Let's pull up. There we are. So you can then see, right, these all represent closings on this map. And on the right hand side, these are all agents that have closed transactions within this area. So from here, I have a couple of choices. Right now, my list on the right hand side is sorted randomly. I can click on this down arrow and choose some other opportunities to sort by. So I can sort by agent's first name or last name, A to Z, Z to A. Or I can sort by closed units, listings sold, buy sides, or leases as well. Um, if there is a particular closing that you're looking at and you want to say, well, I want to know who owns this green dot or the closing in this specific area, I can click on that and you'll see it's going to give me the name of the agent and their team if they're on a team. And then I can actually click on more information and on the right hand side, it's going to show more information about this agent. So if you are looking for a referral partner in a specific neighborhood or a specific area, this is a great way to see who has actually closed transactions in the area. Now, I also have the ability to change from production. I can actually start looking for just market centers. I want any agent or I want to you know, be able to sort through all of the agents in a particular market center. So if I zoom out, you'll start to see market centers show up on the map. And so you can see here the two that are in Katy. Um, you've got Market Center here. This is the Premier Market Center. And then this one you have the Signature Market Center. And it will list all of the agents that are in that particular Market Center. Again, sorted randomly right now, but then you could go through and sort the agents in each one by all of these different criteria as well. Um, in addition, if you click on this Filter button, these bars indicate filters. You have some additional opportunities where you can say what specialization within Keller Williams do I want this agent to have? And are there any particular guidelines with regards to the number of closed units, listings sold, buy sides, leases, or the have they attended specific events? Now, I'm not sure why only Megacamp 2018 is showing up here. I think they may have stopped tracking those events for referral purposes, uh, <coughs> excuse me, after Megacamp 2018. And yet, you can still definitely filter your list by any of the following criteria as well. Finally, your last option, you can actually choose my network. So if I was looking for a referral partner in KD, but somebody maybe I had already previously connected with, I could search my network. And you'll see once the spinning circle is done, it's going to pull up all of the agents. So I have eight referral partners at this market center. 
I have two referral partners in this market center. I can scroll out and then you can start to see all the other market centers that are in the Houston, uh, at least the west side of Houston area. And I've got eight here, eight down in Sugarland, three, three, eight. This is my old market center. So obviously I have 91. Uh, when I was teaching command, obviously I was really big about referral partners. So it's a great way for you to start tracking who you want to send your referrals to. Now you may get down to the point where you're like, hey, um, this is probably the best place to send it to. I wanna send it to an, one of my referral partners in that market center. Um, and yet, I don't know, I don't wanna pick so you could do what is called a broadcast referral. You can see here are the 10 agents at that market center that I am partners with. And I can see, all right, I wanna send a broadcast referral to all 10. You have the opportunity to send that referral um, anonymously, or you can actually put your name on it. So you decide there. Then you're gonna tell all 10 of those agents, what kind of referral is this? What is the referral fee amount? What is your acceptance deadline? And then what's the price point? And then you can actually send a note to them. You might even say, hey, this is a broadcast referral. I'm looking for a strong agent. Please send me a note back as to why you think you would be the best agent for me to work with and send you my clients so that you can work with them, etc." And then from here, you would actually start inputting the client's information. Now you can see this will be kept completely confidential until you have decided to award the referral to a particular agent. So you can either create a new contact if this referral agent is not in your database, or you can actually select them from your database here, and then all the rest of that information will be filled in. You would put in a transaction timeline, and then you would send a broadcast. If for any reason you receive a referral request and it says from anonymous, don't think that that's spam. That's actually a broadcast referral that has been sent to you. And please understand that that's probably been sent to several other people. So you definitely want to um, typically accept that referral and then put in the notes. I'll tell you when I get back broadcast referrals, I typically lean towards an agent that has explained why they would be a good fit, right? If you just accept it and don't put anything into the notes, I'll be honest with you, I think it's kind of lazy and I don't necessarily want a lazy agent. So fill out that referral notes section when you get it speaking to the agent that's referring why you would be a good fit for their clients. So that's the broadcast referral process. Obviously, we've talked about what it looks like to create a new referral. And now you have a better idea of what's happening with the map. Again, you could come in here and search. Uh, we're doing a family reunion in Dallas. Maybe I want to create some referral partners there. And I can start seeing, well, I've already got 12, 32 if I zone out. Let's just see. Maybe I want to see who's doing what in the Dallas area so that I can find some referral partners as I start to zoom in. It's going to show me all of the agents. That's 917 of them working in the Dallas area. And I could start coming through here. And this is a referral request. So basically, I'm about to send one to Stu Manning. It says, would you like to send an invitation for Stu to join your referral network? And I could either write a message if I wanted to or just send the invitation. So Stu, if you're watching this video, I hope you accept that. And then you have the ability to come along and start making referral requests to all of the agents in this area should you choose to. You could sort by closed units or listing sold, buyer sold, depending on you know who you're looking to make referral partners with. So that's just one example of what you could do. You obviously could do this for all of the major cities in your area that you know referrals are coming from to start building out a very strong referral network for your future. That's it for today, guys. Hope everyone's having a fantastic Sunday. Uh, don't forget tomorrow is a holiday uh, if your kids have that holiday don't take them to school don't be number one in the carpool line like i was for when we came back from christmas break uh, but otherwise have a fantastic hopefully three-day weekend and hopefully get the opportunity to uh, show some clients or rest take time with your family have a great day tomorrow and i'll look forward to speaking with you then thanks so much guys Bye bye